Hello guys and welcome. So today I'm going to be doing a review of the V8 smartwatch. This right here is a budget smartwatch. It only costs about 180 bucks on bid or buy. Uh, that's equivalent to about just over $10. So it's a really cheap smartwatch. And I'm going to be seeing how good it is, giving my initial impression about it. And then I'm also going to be doing an extensive uh, user experience review of it, where I'm going to be using it for about a week, and then giving my thoughts about it after that. So, let's get right into it. Here we have the little box. comes in a small little uh, glossy box that just slides open like this. And then in here we find the smartwatch itself. Take it out. It's a very simple little box. And the watch itself comes in this um, plastic. Let's see, let's put that aside for now and let's see what else is in the box. Yeah, just some very basic packaging, nothing fancy. And then we get a little micro USB cable I believe this is just for charging I'm not sure if it can be used for data connection on this watch yeah that's nice it's very short so keep that in mind though but you can just use your phones for most phones though newer phones will have um, uh, type C now and not micro B anymore so yes keep that in mind that's not very nice. It would have been nice if we could get this if Type C, but it is a very cheap smartwatch, and Type C is a more expensive connector, so they're cutting corners everywhere on this thing to make it cheaper. So I won't bother too much about that. Okay, and then we have this little user manual, and man, this thing is small. What is this print like? It's very small. Don't know if you guys can see there. Make it out. But this thing is small and the print is so small I cannot read it. I have to go in really close and focus my eyes. And I don't have such bad eyes exactly. So yeah, if you have bad eyes, <laughs> you're going to need a magnifying glass to even read this manual. But yeah, that's that then. It's not something that would be too much of a bother to me, maybe somebody else. Keep that in mind if it will bother you. Okay, let's have a look at the watch itself. So here we have it in this little plastic. Let's take it out. Okay. And there we go. Uh, my first impression. The watch itself is not made out of plastic, it's made out of kind of like a, uh, maybe some kind of a metal, maybe an aluminum alloy, something. It does give it kind of a premium feel, at least. At this price, it's quite uh, nice to see something like this, where it is made out of something better than just normal plastic. Okay, as for the straps, they're kind of rubbery they feel like a cheaper kind of rubber not like the cheapest kind of rubber either but they do feel cheap they don't feel like a premium product either so yeah that's something okay then on the side it just has the two buttons one of them is the power I believe the top one just to turn it on the other one I think is like a home button okay and then I think you can open it up at the back. Here at the corner, I believe. Yes, there it goes. It takes a little force, but that opens it up. And then in here we find the battery. Strange that they already install it from factory, but they do. Unlike phones and stuff where they usually don't. But not too much of a bother. That's the battery. It's a small little thing. It's a 380 milliamp hour. But I guess that's fine for such a small device. And in here we can see here's the micro, uh, micro SIM 
slot for installing a SIM card into it. So you can use it as a phone on its own. And then on the right next to that, we have a micro SD slot for the memory card. This memory card, I believe, will be necessary for this um, watch to function properly. So, yeah, that's something also to keep in mind. And yeah, that's basically all that's in here. So, just put back the battery here, if I can figure out how. And there we go. And put back the back cover. How does this thing go now? This is why I must check what I'm doing when I'm taking apart things. But I think it's something like that. Yeah, there we go. It's back on. Maybe that's wrong. But in any ways, it doesn't matter that much, I think. I'll figure out if it matters a lot later. Okay, let's see if we can power it on now. And also, it does have a camera here on the front, I see now. A little piece of plastic still on it. I believe the screen was supposed to also have one, but I guess maybe they forgot to put one on this one at the factory or something, but... Oh well. Okay, let's turn it on and see what... Okay, it plays a little tone. Comes right on, it doesn't take a long time to boot or anything. Okay, and settings aren't right yet it's not connected to a phone or anything so yeah there that is okay now let's see what we've got here okay we got some stuff here swipe to the, uh, to the left and you get some more stuff the Bluetooth and everything meter and got the settings here yeah pretty small and I do seem to feel like this back button doesn't work that nicely okay yes profiles That's camera app see the little camera yeah I guess that's kind of okay for what he paid for it. Okay, then here we have our Facebook, our browser, our WhatsApp, and our Twitter. That's kind of nice. I mean, this is a pretty small screen to use that on, but it's nice to have it at least. Yeah, and that's basically it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pair it up with my phone. And we can see how that works. Okay, so... Here I see it has a little app on it for connecting it up with your, like your phone quickly. So you just go in here and it shows you a, a QR code and you can just scan this with your phone, your phone's camera. If you have like a QR code scanner program on your phone, it's easy. You can just download it. You just search on the Play Store or the App Store on the iPhones also for a QR code scanner and then you just scan this and it will open it up and you can just install the app straight to your phone for the watch and then it should just work seamless then it will ah, then it will have your contacts and everything here so you can call straight from it and basically use it like a hands-free kind of thing and yes it will also forward all of your messages and stuff so that you can use it like that uh, or play you can even play music on it from your phone and do all kinds of other stuff here there's quite a bit of stuff you can do with this thing So yeah, so that's my initial impression of it. I do think it's a quite a decent smartwatch for the price at first glance. 
but maybe I will feel different about it after using it for a while. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use it for about a week and then I will give my impressions about it and be able to tell you guys whether this is a good smartwatch for the price. Though at that kind of a price you cannot expect too much so I will also not be able to be too harsh on it. I will I would like to see how well these this like the strap holds up and stuff like that. If it can even hold up a week with me. Because I am kind of rough, so I will have to see if it's strong enough. And do all of that. So from now on I'm gonna Pair it up with my phone, my daily driver phone, and I'm going to use it for about a week at least. If I do really like it, I might continue using it after that, but it's going to have to impress me quite a bit to keep this watch on my arm. So yeah, there you go. That's how it looks on your arm. Can check the time on it quickly like what the watch is supposed to do and yeah I'll have to see how good the battery life really is on it also because that's a big part for me on a smartwatch if the battery life is really bad I will not be able to recommend this watch either so yeah that's all for now I'll have to see you guys in a week's time Okay, so it's been about a week since I started using the V8 smartwatch. So this is a really budget smartwatch I want to say first of all now, before I say everything else. So you shouldn't expect too much out of it, but I have a few issues with it. So first of all, it looks pretty darn good. It looks more premium than the price you pay for it, so you get that for just looks for the people who don't know what it costs. They'll think you have more money than you have because you you have a fancy smart watch, not just a normal one. Even though some normal watches will cost you 20 times as much as this thing. So, yeah, there's that. If you're only buying it for the looks, go right ahead. But do keep in mind one thing about it that I've seen so far is that it's not very durable. So it will get bumped up and scratched really quickly. As you can see with mine, it has some scratches here already. I, I'm a little rough with things like this. So yeah, I give it that. But I wouldn't expect it in first week to really get bad scratches. So yeah, the paint isn't too bad. Though the screen feels alright since it is a glass screen, it hasn't really gotten any scratches yet, it's just a little dirty. So yeah, that's still working 100% fine, still looks okay, I mean actually pretty good. So yeah, that's that. Okay, so, as for my problems with the watch itself, it's functionality meaning. So, first of all, as you can see, Right now, the battery is basically dead. This watch's battery, as I pointed to in the previous, the first part of this video, is an important part to me on a smartwatch. And this watch, at best, with my kind of usage, gets me a day and a half, which isn't enough for me on a smartwatch. I would at least expect for a smartwatch to give me two days. So. That's not very nice, and if you're a much heavier user than I am, that's gonna bother you even more. Because I'm not that heavy of a user of the smartwatch specifically, because I'm not used to using a smartwatch really. I actually mainly use my phone itself directly, so yeah, that's a problem. The next thing is probably the biggest problem for me, because the problem with the battery I can get around that by charging it every day just like I do with my phone so 
that would be and there it's going off now oh it's saying oh now it's just saying the battery is low at least still now so yeah that's basically uh, that but my biggest problem with this watch so far has been that it constantly loses signal with my phone's Bluetooth I mean even when I'm rather close to my phone I can literally have my phone in my pocket and just have this watch out and hold it at the wrong angle and it will say like disconnected and that I cannot handle and sometimes it will disconnect completely and I'll have to reboot it before it will reconnect to my phone as for the app it works pretty all right there's some settings it wants you to change that I don't know why so just be careful when you're setting it up initially with the app it was really easy to set up just scan that little uh, that little QR code that I showed earlier in this video uh, where is it now but I just scanned that thing there it took me to some Chinese website that's fine I guess <laughs> I guess you can trust it, but it did give me the option to download it directly from the Play Store as well, so I believe the app is pretty safe. And yeah, I basically from there just downloaded the app, installed it, paired the watch with my Bluetooth of my phone, the app detected it perfectly fine, no real hassles there, and it worked. So that was fine, but yeah some of the other things I had some trouble with at first like the music you have to first open the music on my phone I don't know if that's particular to my phone but like playing music from the watch was just like that it couldn't pick it up automatically I had to first go to the music on my phone before I could uh, get it to play it on the watch and then next with in line with that the speaker inside of this watch is not great, it's very tinny and it's not very loud but I think it's alright for the price range. It's not terrible, it does distort a little bit at full volume but it is usable. I have heard worse things in bigger and better things than this so that's acceptable. As for the camera app. The camera app itself works perfectly fine. The viewing angle of the camera is actually a little small because if you're using it like this, the camera will be too small to take a picture of like your face and I would think that's basically the main use for for this. So yeah, that's another thing. As for the Bluetooth camera or the, uh, no, the remote camera, uh it is the Bluetooth on this watch is a little slow for it for at least for my phone because it it has kind of a delay which isn't very nice so yeah, that's nice but it does work so you can use it as a remote control for your phone maybe you can take pictures like that I guess that would be fine if you wanted to like set the phone up on a tripod or something and take a picture I don't really know what the main purpose of that is, but maybe that. So yeah, that's basically it. Otherwise, the strap and everything has held up pretty well on me. And another thing that you have to take into account with this watch, which I almost forgot to mention, is that... And now it's going off. So yeah, battery's dead again. Play some nice music. Okay, is that it's a pretty large watch and it's pretty thick in comparison to other watches even. So it does take some getting used to on your wrist if you're not used to wearing big watches. So keep that in mind. But after a week it didn't really bother me much anymore on my wrist. I got used to it so it was fine. It's pretty comfortable. It doesn't hurt me at all or anything. And the strap is held up pretty good. It hasn't stretched out really badly or anything, it hasn't broken yet or anything. But it's only been a week so I don't know how much how it will be for the long term. But for a week it's pretty okay. So yeah, that's basically it for this watch. 
that my conclusion for this watch is that it's not a terrible smartwatch, especially not if you're looking for cheap smartwatches. This would be an okay option because you can't really get much better at this price. But if you do have the money, I would still recommend you buy something proper, a more expensive watch than this. So, that's my conclusion on this watch. It's not too bad, but if you're not ready to deal with the little problems it has, don't even bother buying it because it's just going to disappoint you. So, if you like this video, please do hit the like button below. And if you want to see more content like this, please do subscribe to the channel because we ha I have some more of these cheap smartwatches that I'm going to be doing a review on. And there's, got, there's some interesting stuff there. Some of them are even cheaper than this one. So, yeah, stay tuned for that and have a great one.